Well, welcome back to our eSIG training video. This is part two of this series. If you've not already seen part one and you've not set up your eSIG account, we would definitely suggest that you watch the first video. This second video is going to teach you how to change the animated photo that is in your eSIG to a new updated static photo. So to start, we're going to go to myesig.com and we're going to log into our account. Oops, excuse me. And this is the signature that we originally created. Yours may look a little different depending on what you ended up putting in your signature, but it should look pretty similar. Um, this is the picture that we will be replacing. Now, originally we thought that we would be able to replace this animated picture with a new animated picture. Unfortunately, eSig is still working with Origami Owl and allowing that functional um, ability. But for the meantime, we're going to go ahead and teach you how to replace this with your favorite static picture. And if we ever do get to the point where we can replace it with an animated picture, we'll be sure to update you and let you know. Best way to receive updates on our videos is to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and that way you'll know when a new video regarding eSig or any other training that we've put together comes out. All right, so to install a new picture, we're going to click on Customize. We're going to click on Upload Image. Now, something very important to know, this image is 160 by 160, and that's pixel count. So 160 pixels by 160 pixels. So when you choose the picture that you want to be here, you want to make sure that you choose one that is that same size. Um, so basically, you would just have to take it to your photo editing program, whatever you use. I just use simple Microsoft Paint, um, but totally up to you, and just resize that picture to make sure that it's crisp and clean at 160 by 160. So we're going to go ahead and upload the image. All right. And Heather and I just got back from Cabo. So let's upload a beach inspired picture. So that's pretty much it. We have put in the picture. Basically, we just uploaded it. Now you do have some options to change the size. Um, but of course, 160 by 160 is what the size that it was already loaded. So it looks good there. So basically, we're just going to click on Save Changes. And essentially, our new eSig should come up momentarily with our new picture, at which point you can go ahead and continue through with the install process and have your brand new eSig installed with the picture that you've chosen. Pretty simple, pretty easy, pretty way to keep that updated. Uh, I might even suggest that you remind yourself in your calendar, maybe once a month, to update your picture, uh, put something new, maybe a new product that's come out, or if it's, you know, obviously Mother's Day is coming up, maybe you put a Mother's Day locket in there. Just kind of depends, but try and keep it fresh, try and keep it updated. And that way, people that are getting your emails, you know, this is sometimes a big selling point because they actually can see the locket in your email and say, you know what, I want that exact locket or something similar to it. Uh, it's been a pleasure speaking with you, and I wish you continued success with your Origami Owl business. Thanks so much. So you want to play with magic? Boy, you should know what you're falling for. Baby, do you dare?